Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see before continuing into the MongoDB. Just let's try to see about the SQL terms and the MongoDB Mongo terms. That means the terminologies, what we will usually call in the SQLs uh, in the relational database and also in the MongoDB. So the classification, the difference, the terminologies, let's try to see it. Here you will be able to see a table structure right so here you will be able to see a table structure <clears throat> relational databases normally it, it was there for a long period of time and you and already you know that you should you will be very familiar with the various keywords of sql or the relational database so in the relational database you will, will be familiar about these various keywords like database table row column index so these are all the different keywords you are very familiar also so many keywords are also present primary key foreign key like that but these are the five main primary main things in the relational database let's see how they map with the mongodb terms so that means how the mongodb the naming conventions differs from the sql terms let's try to see normally the database in the sql is same we will call it as database in the mongodb also so the two terminologies is one and the same the database and the database is one and the same now the table if you try to see the sql terms you'll be having a table user table employee table address table so like this you'll be having so the tables and all those things will be called as a collection in the mongodb so we'll be calling it as a collection so you'll be able to understand so going on so why we call the table as a collection the rows are just <clears throat> so these rows are called as an json or bson documents we'll try to see about this json and bson about this one in this video only so these the rows are just made of json or the bson documents and this that is the reason row is called as a json or bson document itself the column so the columns are called as in field and indexes are normally we call it as an index only the columns means nothing but first name last name email address like this we will be having a columns in this json bson document so we will be having a fields so like this only we will be calling and the index are normally we will call it as an index so you will be having a primary key index unique key index this is all the index you'll be having or otherwise you can keep our own index also in the relational database table <clears throat> so these are all the different types of terminologies we will be using so let's try to see about this json file so here the all the, the all the things we are able to aware of this one but we need to see the sample structure of this json or the bson document so let's try to see the sample of this json document here if you try to see here is our sample json document so normally if you are coming from the javascript or any other programming languages you will be able to understand about the json document so this is our json document i am trying to show you json is a lightweight text based open standard data interchange format so this is the definition for this one so json is a lightweight text based open standard data interchange format json is derived from a subset of javascript programming language JavaScript is entirely language in independent and can be used. Sorry, Java not JSON is entirely language independent and can be used with most of the modern programming languages. The beauty of the JSON lies in the ease of use only. <clears throat> so the JSON format has three basic foundations. That is the very first one is the key value pairs or attributes. Here, if you are able to see the first name, last name. So these are called as in key value pairs. The key, the key is can be something like string so you'll be having a string so id first name like this and the value can be anything so it can be a string number or anything you can uh, so here the first name leela and also the last name webdo so you'll be able to see that key value pairs and if you try to see the address thing in the json object you can also embed so you can also embed the json object what it means is that in one json file or in one json or in one json object we can embed another json object also so here totally if you consider this is a json object and in this json object for this address we are able to embed another json object also so this is the beauty of this json thing normally in our relation database how we used to save it so this all the json object you will be having a one table that is nothing but users table and what we will try to do so for this address whatever the address we are having so we used to create another table with the name address and we will relate to each other with a common key join the two tables user and user underscore address like this you'll be having a naming convention and the primary key of this id you can relate it with the foreign key in the address user underscore address table so like this we can join it so like this you'll be having but here the beauty of this json is so we can have 
entire thing here in this one document only tomorrow if you have another address for this user so you can keep another address too and you can embed another object also so that everything the data related to this user we can able to find it here and also here we have embed not only the object and if you try to see the hobbies so we are trying to embed the array so we are trying to add the array not only the object we can also add the array in the json object so here the hobbies of this guy is traveling reading and sleeping so here we are adding traveling reading and sleeping as a array so array is a normal programming idiom so in any all the programming language so it with the array is well known so now here the hobbies also takes the array thing so now the json object the key value pair is in such a way that the values can be either string number it can be an object or it can be an array so anything it can be having okay now we understood about the json thing let's try to see about the uh, bison so we have uh, we have seen about this row means it is a collection of json and the bison document now we understood about the json thing then what is the bison document and what is the difference between this two json and the bison let's let's try to see it so here we have seen the mongodb mainly uses the bison documents so now let's try to see what is the difference between this json and the bison document here if you try to see here the table so i am trying to give the the main difference the basic difference between the json and the bison document now we'll talk about this json and the bison we know that json is a javascript object notation whereas the bison is called as a binary json so here we are able to see json javascript object notation whereas bison is called as a binary json bison is generally the binary representation of the json so they are normally they are very close to each other so the bison is the binary representation of the json normally they are very close to each other when it comes to the encoding format so here it comes the encoding format the json is utf8 string whereas the encoding of this bison is the binary so this is the thing so whereas the encoding of this bison is the binary thing and the data support so now <clears throat> The data support when it comes to the json it, can, it takes certain kind of data types that is nothing but string boolean number array whereas bison takes wide variety of data types like integer float these are the, so the different varieties of numbers also it will try to take it and when it comes to the readability so these json do document can be readable by the humans and also by the machines also whereas the bison can be uh, readable by the machine only so it is not a human readable thing so these are the main differences between the json and the bison so now when the people are starting using with the mongodb so all the people come to across about this bison word and often they get confused so how they how we can prepare this bison word and all bison thing and all those things there is no need to worry about this bison part because that is automatically taken care by the mongodb so what you need to do is you need to just concentrate on preparing the json object itself so everything the mongodb take cares of that one to converting into the bison thing so there is no need to uh, worry about this bison thing so how to convert this data into the bison thing and all those things there is no need to worry automatically the entire thing will be taken care by the uh, mongodb itself so now we need to target only the preparation of this json document only so there is no need to worry about the bison document but you need to keep in mind that mongodb uses the bison doc. so it will convert the json into a bison and it will store it in the mongodb so this is all about this uh, about this json and the bison and the technical terms and all those things hope you understood about these things so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you